Hey YouTube, Fire Flesh here, coming at you with a parcel trade unboxing from the team at DC TV channel, that's Diecast TV channel. Um, after the last parcel that they sent me that I opened on Christmas Day, I got in communication with them again and said, hey, what can I send you? What can I import from the United States that you want? I simply can't find the stuff in the local stores before you can, so um, I feel like I'm losing the war against uh, sending you parcels. Thank you, parcels, for all the kindness you have sent me. And one of those communications, um, I let them know that uh, I'd seen the ENF cases are out in their local area, and the very next message. He mentioned to me that yes, he had found new stuff, and he was happy to send me some of that new stuff. Um, so I said, you know, I agree. I said, uh, whatever you want to send is fantastic. Gave him basically a list of all the cars that I was interested in from the ENF assortments, and today we have the arrival of that parcel. Now this leaves me further in debt with the team at DCTV. So in advance guys, I really really thank you and I cannot thank you enough. So, first up we have a couple of Matchbox. It is the Buick Century police car and he sent me two of them. I've still not seen these in my area. So uh, I'm very very grateful for the assistance in getting these. Um, it seems we just skipped this uh, this case assortment uh, where I live, which is a shame. These would have flown off the shelf. Now, uh, next up, he has sent me a Batman Live Batmobile. Now, the uh, excellent thing about this is that this is a USA card. Now for those of you who have watched my last video, I absolutely go gaga over USA cards because of this bio. So new models, or new for 2013, have uh, bios on the back, and our uh, international cards do not have these. Uh, just as an example, this is a new model Toyota Celica. Or Celica, I call it a Celica. Americans seem to call it Celica. Um, I don't know who's right or who's wrong. So uh, there you go. Uh, international card, USA card. This is why I love getting USA cards. So he sent me that Batman Live Batmobile. He sent me, as I've just shown. 70 Toyota Celica. Now for some reason, I don't think I picked this up. My list is telling me that I do not have this in my collection. So I'm very grateful for him to send this. Uh, wonderful, wonderful addition. He also sent me, uh, from the DK, a BMW 2002. I had also not picked this up. Uh, just skipped it for whatever reason. So, um, thank you dude. Um, then we have some uh, E-Case cars. So first up we have the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. The regular 10 Ford Shelby GT500 Super Snake. So I have not yet seen E-Case cars or F-Case cars in my local area. Next up we have the Lamborghini Aventador LP700-4. Very nice matte black. Repro Duty. Yeah, kind of a, a just a strange one. Uh, probably a lot better if they got rid of those damn evil faster than ever two wheels. Seriously, Mattel, biggest, biggest mistake um, in my recent year of collecting. And lastly from the E-Case, we have Aerodynamic. Hot, uh, Hot Wheels Racing Team colours, not sure if it's actually part of 
the race team it is if I look at the back of the card so glad to have that and it's a new model and just like race screw said it does make a heck of a lot of noise so that was the EK stuff and next up we have some FK stuff the 72 Ford Gran Torino Sport in white as soon as I saw this on uh, one of those uh, sneak sites uh, I knew I would love this over the blue one the 70 Chevelle SS Wagon again it's absolutely amazing what a deco will do for a car um, was not a big fan of the regular or super treasure hunt from 2012 that, uh, that used the same mould but uh, stick some yellow black on it put some moon eyes logo and you've got an instant winner I've got the Volkswagen Golf GTI in this weird blue and black combination I uh, absolutely love that this car has basically a full front and rear um, decal applied or tamper graph we have the repaint of the 12 mini countryman rally really annoys me that those headlights aren't painted especially when you look at the back we have the black BMW M3 did not see the uh, A case blue one uh, in our local A cases which was rather strange uh, wanted to pick it up anyway did not like the colour scheme we have the yellow Enzo Ferrari the 13 Ford Mustang GT my camera refusing to focus on that I think it is come on focus there we go and finally from the F case the 69 Chevelle clear with red stripes there's something about this uh, this 69 Chevelle that I absolutely love um, I picked up all the uh, variations from 2011 through 2012 and 2013 something about it, don't know quite now the team at DCTV did not stop there they also sent me a couple of the Hot Wheels Halloween cars so I got Fangula and Hypermite. Now I'm not a big fan of Hypermite, but uh, it looks like a pumpkin, and uh, it really, really suits them. Now, of course, uh, now that I have two out of the uh, five, I'm going to have to track down the other three and uh, DCTV has left me the almost impossible task of getting that Batmobile and Ecto-1 they were certainly scalped and the prices are rather expensive now and the final item was a loose car with the Kroger exclu exclusive 2012 Camaro ZL1 I'm still looking for this uh, sealed on card so if anyone is watching this and thinks they can help get in touch let me know so that's it absolutely humongous thanks to DCTV for their very very kind of parcel and I am uh, working on the remainder of uh, a thank you parcel for you guys it will just take some time for me to get it shipped from the USA so thanks for watching guys bye for now